All right, in this video, we're gonna learn about something called ventricular escape beats. They vary slightly from something called PVCs or premature ventricular contractions. So let's learn about the differences. With a ventricular escape beat, your rate is going to depend upon the underlying rhythm. It's an irregular rhythm. There's no P waves in the actual ventricular escape beat themselves, and there's no PR interval. Now you'll notice that in this strip above, there are P, uh, P waves and PR intervals, and that's because the underlying rhythm contains them but it also contains ventricular escape beats. So while this rhythm might look normal from here to here, we actually have an arrhythmia with the ventricular escape beats. The QRS width on a ventricular escape beat is gonna be wide and bizarre looking. and there are no dropped beats. So what is the difference between a ventricular escape beat and a PVC? Well, it has to do with the pause between each normal QRS of the underlying rhythm. We know that we have roughly four and a half to five boxes for our R to R interval. With a compensatory pause, we would expect to see the QRSs pick back up right where they left off after the wide ventricular rhythm that presents itself. With a ventricular escape beat, it is a non-compensatory pause, meaning that the ventricles actually reset their timing cycle after the wide bizarre beat. So, if we measure the distance from QRS1 to QRS2, it should be roughly nine to 10 boxes away. However, when we do march them out, we find that they're just under eight boxes. So we can say with certainty that this is a ventricular escape beat because we're seeing a non-compensatory pause. If we saw a compensatory pause, we would, expect, we would call this a PVC and not a ventricular escape beat. It may be hard to grasp some of the concepts of this. However, once you get it down, you'll look for it every single time you see PVCs.